Iron contamination is one of the leading contributors to poor yields and low profitability at oil refineries. Many new sources of oil, particularly those in North America, contain higher than typical levels of iron. Iron poisoning is notoriously difficult to diagnose and minimize. But using the Philadelphia Energy Solutions, or PES, refinery in Pennsylvania as a case study, researchers at Grace have now developed a solution that could help oil companies combat the problem. The most adverse effects of iron contamination occur during a principal conversion step in the oil refining process called fluid catalytic cracking, or FCC. In FCC, large hydrocarbon molecules in the crudest forms of oil are broken down, or cracked, by a catalyst into smaller, more useful molecules. During the conversion process, iron from the crude oil combines with other metal contaminants such as calcium and plugs the pores of the catalyst particles. Since this is where most of the cracking takes place, this pore blocking slows down the reactions, adversely affecting production. This problem tends to be worse in refineries that process crude oils containing high levels of iron and other metal contaminants. The case study focused on two PES FCC units that process crude oil containing the highest levels of calcium in North America. To minimize the impact of these contaminants, PES worked collaboratively with GRACE to develop a comprehensive program to monitor and manage iron poisoning in FCC units. The first step to reducing iron contamination is to determine how much iron is present in the feedstock. Refiners should analyze the chemical makeup of all crude oils before they are processed in their FCC units. Several standardized techniques can alert operators to harmful levels of contaminants and prompt them to take proactive measures, such as more effectively desalting the oil. This process helps indirectly by removing calcium, but it also removes some iron, a double win. After the FCC process has begun, operators can diagnose symptoms of iron poisoning by examining samples of equilibrium catalyst particles taken from the operating unit under an electron microscope. As observed at the PES refinery, one of the telltale signs of iron poisoning is the formation of nodules on the surfaces of catalyst particles. These formations reduce the surface area available for cracking reactions, thereby cutting the total yield of refined product. Once these nodules have formed, refiners should flush the poisoned catalyst out of the FCC units, either with all fresh particles or a combination of fresh particles and equilibrium catalyst. Nodule formation can also be minimized by incorporating a properly designed FCC catalyst. As stated, iron contamination is one of the leading contributors to poor yields and low profitability at oil refineries. With increasing demand for fuels and other oil products, the problems posed by iron poisoning are only expected to increase. But, as demonstrated by the collaborative efforts of PES and GRACE, the development of a comprehensive feed and unit monitoring program, coupled with GRACE's optimal FCC catalysts, can allow refineries to better combat iron contamination and boost profits.